So as I start going through this presentation, uh, I want all of you to start thinking to yourselves uh, as we start going through this, you know, what are some of the things that you all are doing at your firms to have some form of centralized repository for all of your documents? What are you doing to manage the discovery process? How are you connecting the dots between all the discovery that you're doing as well as all of the research you're doing? And at a moment's glance, can you understand the strengths and the weaknesses of your case? And some of those are the things that we're going to be talking about. Why are those questions important? Because those questions are important not only respective to the Chinese drywall case, but also really to every other case that you have. And it happens to be some of the questions that corporate counsel really want uh, law firms or defense firms specifically to start asking uh, uh, themselves throughout the year. And so I want to take a, uh, a minute just to go over some of uh, what those trends are that we're seeing across the marketplace. One of the things that we uh, saw, and a lot of people probably relate to this, is that last year we saw like, a, a massive drop in litigation spent uh, nationwide, something along the lines of a little more than 10%. But you take that, and, and obviously that uh, makes sense to, with the uh, economy that we have this year, but you take that and we're projected to actually see an increase in litigation spent a little over 2% for 2010. So the question becomes, what's really driving that, right? What's really driving some of those trends? Uh, by the way, that 2% uh, is equivalent to somewhere along the lines of about $13.5 billion, right? And what's really driving some of these things? Well, number one is that corporations are looking for law firms to be able to, really looking to be able to have law firms be able to help them out in strategy development. And in particular, and we'll be coding on this one in a second, talking about not only understanding what early case assessment is, but being able to adopt an aggressive early case assessment model to be able to help uh, uh, their clients be able to understand how are we going to connect those dots between, uh, uh, between our discovery and our research. And last but not least, where appropriate, how to be able to settle our cases early. 